Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at a bit of software that solves all of my complaints about apt. But first, before we continue any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel members. These are Mislav, Darius Rus, and Pytorus. These people are channel members, so they get early access to videos such as this one right here. They get a little badge next to their name. They get priority comments priority responses to comments because I get notifications to my phone whenever they comment. Anyway, let's proceed into the video. So what is this thing that I say that solves all of my problems with apt? Oops, sorry. Anyway, the main issue that I have with apt, and there's only one, one issue I have with apt, that is parallel downloads. Why? Why don't parallel downloads already exist? Because I was recommended a bit of software called, and I'll show you it now, thankfully it's on GitHub, called AptFast. Basically a wrapper to enable parallel downloads. So we get the advantage of the unparalleled downloads on Apt-based systems. You ask me, that's pretty cool. So... Let's get into, it, get into it. Of course, I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can have a look at it yourself. But AptFast is a shell wrapper for apt-get and aptitude, or apt, basically, uh, that can drastically improve download times by downloading pack packages in parallel with multiple connections per package. Meaning, very, 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 very fast, which is what we want because... Pac-Man already has it, so why doesn't Apt have it? This solves that. My monitor's here, you're there, that's one. Anyway, so, first thing we want to do, have a look at it. Uh, table of contents, we can go through that if we want to. We can choose to install it using this, or the Ubuntu PPA to automatic updates and setup and all that. Some distros, such as PC Linux OS, include Apt Fast in the repository, which is good, however, including Debian. So, what we'd have to do is add a new file list, so let's do that. I've not done this before, so we'll get to see how easy it is to actually get this set up and working straight from the get-go. So, we'll work together on this one. So, first thing that I'll want to do is I'll drag that there, and we'll grab our trusty terminal. So, installation. We can install it using that if we want to. Um, but we'll do it using the deb. Some distros, such as PC Linux OS, include aptfast. However, if not included, uh, like in Debian, then a PBA can be added sort of by creating a new file called that. So let's do cd slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d. I want to do the reason why I'm doing it like this is because it's the only way I can think of doing it is nano apt fast dot list not writable so do the last command there we oop, help if I type my password correctly wouldn't it and the reason why we want to do that is because we're going to copy and paste as where you can't copy paste like that using Vim. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, please tell me in the description. Bada bing. Now, that, now once that's done, all we'll have to do to retrieve the sign keys and install up fast, execute the following commands as root. So, we're back into the apt directory. Uh, I'll just do that. And then what we want to do is just have a quick look. As we can see here, we have keyrings. So we do add, go to keyrings. Oop, key rings. There we go. Have a look at this command here. So what this will do, it, we'll just copy this one because it's going to be easier. So paste that in. Uh, key server from Ubuntu. Uh, if, you may, if you're a long-time viewer, you'll know I'm not exactly... World's biggest fan of Ubuntu, but there we go. That is what it is. So, keyring. 
So that just grabs a link, does that. Permission denied. Of course, we need to do the. What? Okay, let's just do that then. There we go. So if I now do this. Yes, no, maybe. Up, down, left, right. Maybe. Okay. Okay, pseudo hyphen I. There we go. Now, now we've done that, so at get dates. Pseudo. There we go. Uh, if we have a look here, we have bookworm, launchpad for focal. Don't know why focal's there. That might be because of the new, new bit of software. And here is apt fast. There we go. So we now have uh, we ha now have apt fast attached. It's good, which is good. What we want. Now the, um, done the update. What we want to do is do sudo apt get install apt fast. Uh, it will pull down aria two and lib aria two zero, which again it's fine and suggests the packages apt to and fish. Fiosh. Um, package manager to install or remove software. In this case, we just want apt. Number of connections, we will say you can have a 20 maximum number of 25 connections. This does not affect the package manager dialog, but download installation packages before the package manager confirmation. Suppress the confirmation dialog. In my case, I don't want to. So it will now download with a possible 25 if we wanted to. Uh, we could have installed it with interaction free or quick install or manual install or any of that. But in our case, uh, the completions for the respective shells use the existing apt get compilation. When well, completion, it is required to get the apt get compilation to be installed. In case of bash, the package uh, bash completion is required for ZSH and fish. Required completions are included by default in their common packages. But for sake of completeness, we will just drop it in. Okay. That's annoying. I'll figure that out later. That might just be that might just be me. Um there's some configuration we can do if we want to. Uh the config file is is located in Apt fast, so cd apt fast. Ah, so it's a vim. We'll do vim apt fast.conf. Here is our default file. Uh, we've got the apt uh, manager of apt in our choice, which we chose. And we've got the ability to just go through and look at mirrors, look at maximum number of downloads, uh, maximum number of connections per server. Um, We'll just go with N. Warning, changing a read-only file. Hmm, hang on. What? Uh, we'll go 25. X, Y. Control C. Right, quit. Okay. Control C. I'm trying. There you go. My fault there. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you change config stuff you wanted to when you're using Linux Mint. Don't use apt because the distribu distributor that's custom shell. We're not using Mint mirrors if we could use it. Just goes through the how many connections do you want, how many things, this, that, and the other. General, how do you want to handle them? So now that we've actually got everything, let's try and download something large, shall we? We'll just do clear. And uh, sudo apt update. Uh, sudo apt upgrade. 
So, following packages are automatically installed and no longer required. So, could remove them if you wanted to. However, I need to think of a package that I can quickly choose. Uh, I've got to think about that. But yeah, that's how you you would do it if if you actually had anything to, uh, to update. And so, uh, sudo apt install. Uh, Audacity. So, as we can see here, uh, nine to be installed. Yes. Would you look at that? How fast was that? Now, if you ask me, significantly faster than it would have been before. Now, the, lo the longest part of that was actually getting it set up and installed and running. Anyway, it works. Fantastic. I like it. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work even though you can only see one of them. If you're not just subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, be cons consider becoming a channel member for as little as 99 pence a month, where you can get early access to videos such as this one right here. Watch next to your name on comments and live streams, and priority response to comments. Anyway, I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and when you use Linux, don't panic. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.